strange is happening at the Chinese embassy. The Japanese are looking for a girl that's hiding there. Her name's Milani. They are the special forces? They should be somewhere on the shelter. You phone them, they have to get out and go to the embassy. Yeah. We have to go there now. But the air raid is still going on. Oh, damn bloody German air raids! Then I go, you go too! Come on! I'll look back! じゃあ、それこそお手上げだ。作戦変更だ。引け。赤、ダメ。弾道だ、もうすぐ収まる。お前は英国憲兵とやり合うつもりか。Please stop. I'm David Petrie, Chief of the National British Security Department. You let me in? Police coming, Mr. Peter. David Petrie, head of the National Security Department. Nice to meet you. You're to Japanese, That's right. They How many troops do you have, General? We have four How many troops do you have, General? We have four generals, two soldiers, and one This is small, the smallest battle you ever thought, General. Done a pretty good job. Mr. Petri, it has been a long time. I'm grateful you're here so quickly. Mr. Ambassador, I'm very sorry we're coming too late. I couldn't imagine what the aftermath would be if uh, more Takas were here. But however, you are here so in time. I'm also awfully sorry for that, Mr. Ambassador. You are very different from uh, the British Army in Burma. They run away when they see Japanese. You are unbelievable. Even if a German bombing is still going on, are you worried on the way? I'm sorry to tell you that we have to take Miss Spears with us. In her hands are documents that belong to the military headquarters of our great British Empire. Ah, I see military headquarters men already arrived. Uh, Mr. Petrie, I wish I could do what you ask. As you know, Miss Spears is uh, a secretary of the uh, American Embassy. As we just noticed that they are coming to pick her up. I don't know if she is still a Chinese citizen. If she is, we have the obligation and also we have the capability to protect her. Mr. Ambassador, Miss Spears' deceased husband, Commanding Officer William Spears, a colonel of our Royal Military Headquarters, has just been killed. We have to start our investigations now. And Miss Spears is a major witness. We can inform the American Embassy that we are coming and pick her up. 
if she is still a Chinese citizen, as an ally, I strongly recommend your cooperation in our investigation. Mr. Petri, is this a request? Yes. Uh, Mr. Petri, as a one of the alliance, I uh, will not uh, reject, but I want to share the result of uh, the investigation. Sure, you have my word. Alan, get these dead bodies out of here and uh, find me some capable chaps to do the repairings to be done here. Yes, sir. Ah, Mr. Ambassador, the attack on your embassy shouldn't be made public. That might have a very unpleasant impact on our investigations. We feel the same. of the security department. We have some questions for you. Won't take long. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much. We'll see you again soon. Please. Oh, Liang 
Getting some pure alcohol in times of war is a jolly good thing, isn't it? <coughs> Exquisite. <laughs> so. Why did Officer William bring his documents back home? for a journey today. So, he didn't tell you something? Anything? He said he will always love. This is your book, isn't it? Did you read it? Oh. So, you also don't know what was in this chamber and where it did go. William's book, wasn't it? You're lying. And Officer Williams is already not able to prove if he was a spy or not. Please don't insult him. No, 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 my dear. Don't get me wrong. I will find this thing, and I put it in front of you, and I prove that you are lying. You are the spy! And if that's so, you're gonna be executed. That's for sure. Well, honey, what I'm trying to tell you here is the only one who can help you is yourself. Liang Tong's military knowledge and intelligence tells him he is not a p r 事件，宋女士要取消前往盲友慰问军队的行程，访美代表团的安排也要重新规划。休会，大家等通知吧。是的意思，请蒋经国先生和柳将军挂帅，与美国大使赫尔利先生在加尔各答会合，一起前往盲友慰问军队。盲友会师是一个伟大的胜利，不能按原计划亲自去劳捐，宋女士很遗憾。日本人太猖狂了，在伦敦公然袭击中华民国大使馆。时间是。德国每日例行的空袭伦敦事件，日本人在德国炸弹爆炸的掩护下，有些肆无忌惮。宋女士会亲自处理伦敦事件。如此恶性事件，过去几个小时了，电台、报纸、新闻，没有任何消息传出来。更奇怪的是，英国政府
，保持了沉默。石景峰先生的电文也是例行通报，没有任何意见和态度。你的意思是说，伦敦的中华民国大使馆和英国人达成了某种默契？应该是这样。我认识你父亲石继红先生十几年了，他不是一个软弱的人，从来都不是。肯定是出大事了。曾光熙从反常中嗅出了特殊的气味，美英苏的雅尔塔密会吸引了世界上两大阵营、不同国家的目光，而直接相关的不同国家的谍报人员都忙活起来。都拼命想获得核心秘密，东方主战场的共产党、国民党与日本，都为此启动了重要的情报系统。这张图上标明了战区的分界，占领者分别是苏联、美国还有英国。这么重大的决定，决策人只能是世界上的三巨头：英国的丘吉尔、苏联的斯大林和美国的罗斯福。按照上面的时间推算。这些会议到今天为止，应该已经八天了。时间上还有一个间接的证据，就是丘吉尔的两个智囊，这段时间都没有在俱乐部出现。除去会议地点在苏联的雅尔塔，这个会议其他的消息都没有对外公布。这个现象很反常。这么看来，政治议题部分已经结束了。这些，就是他们根据雅尔塔。会议的结果，制定的作战方案，也有可能只是英国人的作战方案。如果真是这样，那么战争就要结束了。还有一种可能，贾金宝想借我们的手传出去，也有这样的可能。石先生，这个词。向您请教一下，在文中反复的被提到，二狗，二狗航海者。一句传说，阿尔嘎航海者说的是一些古希腊的勇士，曾到黑海沿岸去寻找金羊毛的故事。很久以前。一艘希腊船只驶离君士坦丁，在黑海航行数日，遭遇风暴，迷失方向。船员们在绝望之际，突然看到霞光从东方喷射而出，现出了绿岸青山。船员们高兴地呼唤：“雅达，雅达！”雅尔塔得名的原因，也是会议的地点，在克里米亚半岛。Go and please. 你知道英国人喜欢一语双关，那里一定有他们想要的 golden dreams。那么这个金羊毛是什么呢？英国和美国在向苏联寻求什么呢？来自远东的打击。那么这个就是丘吉尔·罗斯福向斯大林要的金羊毛，就是苏联人在战胜德国之后，会挥师东线，进入东北。消灭日本的关东军，这样的话，日本必然会迅速的战败。日本战败，战争结束是好事，我们应该高兴。哎，但是不知怎么的，我突然有一种不祥的预感。看这个方案，在军事上是可以说得通的。Chief, we need to check our general staff. Yes, especially in details. All right. Thanks, Alan. Lieutenant Eddie from headquarters, please. From 军人的角度来讲，自己的军队付出那么大的代价，占领的地方是不会心甘情愿拿出来的。那从政客的角度来讲呢？他们。不会满足手上已经得到的，他们还盯着别人手里的。要让这些所谓的同盟国从。
从他们已经占领了我国的土地上撤出去，比登天还难。恐怕战后的势力范围就是这样划分的。他们竟然背着我们进行密谋。这些同盟国，强盗。Mr. David, you still think I'm not busy enough? <laughs> I'm very sorry, but we have uh, new developments in the murder case of Officer William this morning. Okay, what is it? Uh, let's cut it short. Um, what is a uh, Argo Voyager or Argo Navigator? What does it mean? I look the secretary. Argo, oh, sorry. Lieutenant, you still there? How did you know about this? Was in Officer William's suitcase something related to that? David, you're really stepping out of line on this. My surveillance report tells me that they are talking about this topic in the embassy right now. Yeah, you said it right. Thanks. Make sure that not one single word of this Chinese conversation is leaking. Yes, sir. Chief, Chinese is going to transfer some information to home. Alan, Alan, listen to me. The Chinese already broke the headquarters code. Put everybody of them under surveillance. Okay. Yes, sir. Edward. Sir, Sir, Sir. 我刚刚接到英国国家安全局的通知。他们说，中国大使馆的任何人都不能离开英国，所有正规的交通途径都对我们中国大使馆的人员实行关闭。荒唐！他们又承认有这么做？是，英方已经给出了正式的解释，他们需要中国大使馆的人员去协助调查威廉上校被杀一案的事情。Miss Melanie. I can give you the information that the Chinese side knows about the secret in the suitcase. Do you have any idea how I prefer to treat secret agents? I smash their brains out. Milani, 异常的镇定。从戴维·皮特里的话中，他判断重要情报已到了抗日将军梁统的手里。米兰尼虽然对过去失忆了。但作为中国人，他身上具有民族正义感和国家利益感，而且本能上对梁统有着特殊的亲近感。我们要抗议。我已经向他们抗议过了。他们解释，现在是战争时期，威廉上校被杀一案的事情已经牵扯到了盟军的机密，所以这件事情比较特殊，希望我们理解。参赞先生，我们的电台受到强烈电波干扰。已经无法正常工作了。什么？刚刚还好好的，现在连电话都打不出去了。我们与外界的联系已经彻底被切断了。是。我们被监听
デビッド・ピーターが現れました見た感じイギリス人も暇してなさそうですあれがどの部屋かよく確認しとけきっと英国人の監視部屋があるはずだ中国にはこういうことわざがある「タンランブーちゃんホワンチュエ在ホウ」ワンチュエ俺たちがそのホワンチュエだ我々今中国人が箱の情報を得ているかどうか確認する人がいますこのミノックス製超小型カメラお前おかしいと思わないか動く前にまず確かめましょうそれは英国人が代わりにやってくれるさこの情報はそんなに重要なものですか俺の兄貴を信じろ辻正信を天才なんだよ何が重要かよく分かってる機会があればお前にも合わせてやろうごちゃごちゃになるぞ双子なんだもしも俺がこのメガネを取ったらそれこそウリ二つだ<笑>これはドイツ人から最後にもらった資料ですなんか言探测器探测过很多次了，根本检测不出来啊！英国人的技术比我们先进太多了。你顺着这个线挖下去，找出他们的监听点。我们要提出严重的抗议。是，我立刻组织人手。还有您的办公室，谈过米拉尼的事情。接待室的环境相对简单，那么问题一定是出在您的办公室。只是没有想到，是在您办公室的地板下面，这么的隐蔽，而且设备还如此的先进。我们是盟国的成员，你看，他们像对待敌人一样的对待我们。是信任。不过从逻辑上来分析，这未必是一件坏事情。
英国人现在的这个反应，可以印证这份情报的真实性。Sir, come here, take a look. We have to cut any connection leading to us. Clean up all the wires. Don't let them find us here. Yes, sir. They're gonna buy us some time. Shida 哈哈哈！回去吧，回去吧，回去吧，再见，再见，再见。再见再见五人が行きました。あのエレンもいます。今夜動くぞ。はい。米兰尼到底是不是中山会美？是不是那个使自己成为共产党员的引路人？两头脑海中浮现出一个又一个的问题。米兰尼为什么会把这个秘密交给自己？他的目的是什么？他真实的身份是什么？所有的问题都没有答案。梁桐如坠云雾，看不清真相。他必须解开这些疑问，因为他要核实情报的真实性。甚至，这份严重侵害中国利益的情报，可能影响到中国抗战的走向。它的真实性，不容出半点错误。我不能让你一个人回中国去。抗日是每一个中国人的事情。你要继续在日本士官学校的学习，这是组织的秘密。记住，革命不是卿卿我我。你要永远记住什么是纪律。かめましたまだ目線はありますただ動かないだけですつまり今踏み込めばお宝ザクザクってことか行くぞ尽管梁通认为米兰尼提供的情报有九成的可信度，但他依然不能把这份情报传到国内去。他深知这份情报的真实性就如同一把双刃剑，如果是真实的，它能维护国家利益；反之，也可以损害国家利益。
I'm curious to know when he took the chance to take the pictures of these documents. Mr. Peterly, our monitoring stations have been attacked. The Japanese, for sure. ないかえ、いつでもこう言ってか。仕方ない。引け。引け。我们可以启用秘密通道了国内从美国引进的飞机飞往英国再从英国飞往北飞过地中海到埃及然后是红海卡拉奇印度加尔各达最后是驼峰航线的起点听江机场小马这场航线是我们常用的一般情况呢我们的飞机不用降落在贝德
但是这很危险。你从秘密途径走的话，所有的外交保护全都不存在了。你想利用英国人演一出戏，让日本人相信你已经得到了手提箱里的情报